Well, we take a macro view, you know, we don't take a micro view. We're not trying to pick companies per se. We're trying to pick, we're try, nor are we even trying to pick industries. We're trying to pick uh, types of companies. So, for instance, you know, we want large companies in the U.S. or small companies in the U.S. We want large or small companies in the international market. We want a global presence. Um, in the end, what we're really trying to do is we're trying to promote peace of mind. What's peace of mind investing? What gives you peace of mind as you're investing? What allows you to let this thing grow? So the way I think about investing is the same way I think farmers think about planting crops. You plant, you know, you, you, you till the ground, you make that ground ready to receive seed, you put seed in it, and you get a little sprout. When, when farmers see a little sprout, they don't go, well, it's time to pull it up and go. You know, oh, we got a little bit, let's, pit, let's, let's pull it out of the ground, let's put it, okay, it's not really ready, let's put it back. You know, that doesn't happen. Uh, farmers know when something's mature and something's ready to be harvested. And I think what, what, um, what many investors fail to do is know when it's time to harvest. They, um, they have this sense that they're always in a hurry and they just got to get what they can get and move on. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to produce a sense of peace of mind so that you're not panicking about what is this thing really growing or not. Just because I don't see a sprout, just because I don't see that sprout where I thought it should be, uh, doesn't mean that it's time to sell something. So we're trying to give you peace of mind. So our strategy is about how can we give you peace of mind while you're investing? And for us, that means that we're going to give you every stock that's available in a certain category and we're going to let you know that there are going to be some this year that are not going to do as well as others. There are going to be others this year who are going to be outliers in terms of how well they perform. And it's going to be different the following year, and it's going to be different the next year, and it's going to be different the next year. It's going to be so different that there's no way to predict who's going to do as well or who's going to do poorly. So we're just going to accept the fact that it, these companies do what they do, and we're going to take solace in the fact, the comfort in the fact that we're investing in a company who's investing in people, who's investing in communities, who's investing uh, in an economy. And we're going to allow that to have time to work. We're going to, we're going to understand that there's ups and downs and we're going to be in a position where we don't have to wonder, well, did we pick the right ones? Should we sell these and buy other ones? Instead, we're going to say, we bought them all. And there's no reason to sell anything because they're all good. Nothing's junk. If there's junk in here, it'll it'll find its way out. We don't have to get it out. It weeds itself. So let's just trust the process, the, uh, the growth process, which are, again, just ups and downs. And there are turbulent times and peaceful times. But regardless of what's happening with the economy or what's happening with that particular uh, type of index, we can be at peace, right? We don't have to worry about it, right? Another way to think about it is like flying in an airplane. You know, when you get on a jetliner, there's a potential for that thing to crash, right? But you wouldn't get on there if you thought it was going to crash. Is that true? So, what you're actually doing is you're saying, I believe that the law of averages are way, way, way in my favor. I'm willing to pay $700 to have this ticket to go to this place, and I'm gonna trust the structure of this plane. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust the mechanics that got this plane ready and fueled it. I'm gonna trust the, the piloting team, and I'm gonna trust the steward team. And I'm just gonna sit in my seat, and I'm gonna strap my seat belt, I'm going to pay attention to what they tell me, and then I'm just going to trust the process because I'm not in, I'm not flying the plane. I remember one time I was sitting with this young lady, and, and we went through some bad turbulence. I mean, the thing was shaking, and we were all doing this, right? And, and she was like panicking, and she was sweating, and she was uh, about to cry. And she turned to me, and she said, "What do you think's happening?" And I said, "I don't know." I said. Aren't you glad that they're not asking you to go up there and fly the plane and get, the, get us out of this? Aren't you glad it's not up to you? And she, she turned to me and she said, I've never thought about that. I said, yeah, I'm glad they're not asking me. I figure the best persons to get us out of this are already in the cockpit. So I just need to relax and 
trust that they can do it. And all of a sudden, she just calmed down, you know. I just accepted that. It's just, what else can you do? So, when you invest your money, you're getting on board, and you're trusting the process. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you should try to do about it. You can't manipulate this, right? So, let it, let the flight take place. And enjoy the ride.